Welcome back to Pernod Crosser. Let's get right into it. Let's get back into our raps talk. The Toronto Raptors are within their, I mean, they, they have the best start to their franchise, their season, uh, seven and one. And I know these guys, <laughs> these guys are huge Raptors fans. And you Jeez. guys have been talking about them. I know last, last time you were here, you guys did a great job in giving uh, analysis and insights of other Raptors. <laughs> so what do you guys think of this whole start? Um, at first, like, what are you guys' thoughts about the trade? <laughs> I, want, I always like hearing what are your thoughts about the trade that one Before and somewhere. after they started playing. Before the oh, trade? the Kawhi and trade? And then after they, yeah. they, they yeah. started playing. Give it to was, us. I was actually so happy. I was yeah. one of the few people that was like, I mean, I love DeRozan, don't get me wrong. He showed the city some love. He wanted to stay here from day one. But it's like, it's going from good to great. Like, you know how Mark Jackson, like the Warriors went from Mark Jackson to Steve Kerr? Mm-hmm. That's what I feel like that move was. I, I'm on a, I'm on that side. Like you, Demar is our guy. He had us. But like, you're talking about a top three player in the NBA that come back. People forget how good this guy was. He was MVP considerations, and the fact that his defense is elite, like you couldn't ask for a better trade. I think Masai did an awesome job just even getting Danny Green thrown in there. How yeah. you? That was the most underrated. People, I was yeah. telling people that yeah. was the most underrated trade. In terms of the player that was really yeah. underrated, that was Danny Green. Green. Mm-hmm. Like and he fits our system perfectly. And the fact that they could have gotten like Siakam or Adenobi, but they got Pirtle. Yeah, they didn't get any of our wing players. Yeah. Like the young wing perfect. players. Like I don't know, Masai is just like a genius. And like people are telling me, oh, why would we do this? Kawhi is so overrated. He's hurt. It's proving us wrong right now. Like, mm-hmm. am I the only guy that feels like? When you're watching Raptors games this year, that you can't, you still can't believe you have this type of yep. caliber yeah. player. Yeah, yeah I still do. Yeah. 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 like, this guy is just so good. And I'm like, how is he? The Raptors, like, we've never, we never attracted a player mm-hmm. of this caliber. Yeah. And like, of the years I've been like watching the Raptors, I'm not as big of a fan as I was now. Yeah. He's just, I've never seen anyone like, I mean, Chris Bosch was good, DeRozan was good, but nothing on his level in terms of both ends of the court. Mm-hmm. I mean, something about his game is just so calm and smooth. Yeah. Like, he, yeah. DeRozan, like he doesn't freak you out. Like when you're watching, like yeah. they're, they're confident. Good. Yeah. DeRozan was good, but he's, you can tell when you're watching DeRozan, he takes the tougher shots yeah. and he, he'll make them. But yeah. Kawhi, he just makes it look easy. Like he, he, picks, he knows where his shot's going to go and he knows how to get his shot. And the fact that like he takes the shot that you you know you understand oh yeah he's taking it because it's the right shot or he's the yeah. right pass. Whereas with DeRozan you kind of question at times and like oh yeah he could have you know he could have made that one extra pass. It's the a lot defense different. alone is impressive. That blind mm-hmm. steal. Mm-hmm. That like, blind oh steal was uh, yeah, really his awareness is just off the charts. Yeah. And on my slogan this year you'll see all over my social media I always say. Kawhi Leonard is a Toronto Raptor. Like, I'm just going to keep saying that. It's, yeah. it's weird to say, you know? It is weird to say. I mean, and it also starts with Kyle Lowry, how he has changed since the trade and yeah. we've seen him uh, play so far. Hello. I think, like, from our observation standpoint, you, you see how Kyle Lowry is playing. He's finding more people. I mean, he's, he's, he's been trying to pass up to, uh, yeah. to players who can shoot, but his main guy, DeRozan, back then, that was his main guy to sh- give it to, right? But he has more opportunities to give... Uh, to Kawhi, Ibaka. Ibaka's been playing well oh, as well. Oh, man. JV, Fred Van Vliet, yeah. Pascal. Pascal's shooting threes now. Pascal. Um, JV's shooting threes. Pascal's no, he's even not, he's not making that many, but like he is <laughs> he's shooting, taking shooting it. threes. What's crazy is the fact that Greg Monroe doesn't even get yeah. any burn. No. And, you know, he this was guy like... used to be a starter. That's league. what I'm saying. That's just a that's, depth, yeah. really good depth on this team. Yeah. That's what shows, you know what I mean? Exactly. Like, Van Vliet's out. You, know, you got DeLon coming back. Uh... Kawhi will set out a game. You got OG. Hopefully, he comes back. You got OG. You got Norman Powell. Hopefully, getting He's a bounce back. Well, thank God. Go Daddy Chris is gone. I'm oh, so CJ Miles. I don't know. CJ yeah. Miles has a go Daddy Chris. Oh my God. CJ's PJs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, oh my God. But yeah, you you, I mean, you touched upon defense. I think the starting lineup and oh. the mixture of the, all the lineups. I think any uh, lineup is good defensively. Bas- yeah. The Basketball Reference put out a, a lineup sheet where the top five lineups in the NBA this season are. The, our Raptors lineup it mixed with Valanciunas or uh, or Serge Ibaka, so it shows that we ha- we have like the best five basically in our mm-hmm. in our defensively, team. Defensively, yeah. yeah, defensively. And Danny Green, yeah, we need to appreciate Danny Green. Even though oh. we got Kawhi, yeah, Kawhi is a Raptor. Oh my so God, yeah. Danny Green is a Raptor too. Oh my God, you know, yeah. Danny Green is a great shooter Canada. and he's a great defender. He's all NBA defense. Like yeah. he, he was. People forget people that. People forgot. Yeah, yeah. And he's he was guarding LeBron. Yeah, and he was guarding and Dwayne Wade in the yeah. finals. Yeah. Yeah. And he's the one that yeah, he's the one that lit them up on, on the three and hit yeah. that. I mean, he had a record for the threes in the in the playoffs. It was like seven or eight threes or yeah. something like that, right? This guy what is, do you guys think of Nick Nurse so far, as a as a coach? I think he's utilized the team a lot yeah. better than doing Casey yes. has. Yeah. Just I think he knew 
where their spots are, each player, in terms of what they do best. And that's why he's, he's so comfortable with switching out Ibaka, JV, and Siakam yeah. in any lineup. He knows exactly, yeah. oh yeah, with this matchup, it's a better to have Siakam and Ibaka or oh, yeah. JV and, and, and Siakam or JV and Ibaka. And that's what's just, great is the fact that like, um, the players are open to it. Like usually you'll mm -hmm. see players complain like, oh, I want to be a starter. I can't go to the bench, but they're all like, okay, I'm all for it. If it gets us championships, mm -hmm. why not, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think it starts with Nick Nurse. He was assistant coach uh, with the Dwayne Casey uh, coaching staff last year. He was giving a voice of the situations in between, oh, give Siakam more minutes or give Ibaka these spots in, in, the, in the round of lineup. But Dwayne Casey didn't implement it, right? He's mm. like, oh, let me have it this way. Let's see what this figure out. And then, you know, obviously it all crumbles down. But Nick Nurse is like <laughs> that continuing voice from last season. He's now officially implementing his uh, his system, basically his own system into the in, into the Raptors lineup. So I mean, it's working out for him offensively, defensively. He's he's been doing great. But I mean, it just it's been easy because we got Kawhi. <laughs> <laughs> all, all all goes around by Kawhi and Danny Green as well. And yeah. it can only go up from here. Like people forgetting, OG's his second year. Siakam's on his, I believe, third year. These guys are just gonna the get better. Bam Fleet, yeah. you know. Yeah. Like, Speaking of them, they picked up their options. OG picked up his third option, and uh, I think uh, Pascal picked up his fourth option. So yeah. they're gonna stay for a, a while until they sign another contract. And that bench, that bench is that bench is the key. key. Like if they're all healthy, you know, Bam Fleet, bet on yourself, guy. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> You got you to believe in that on that team right now. You got to believe in Malachi Richardson, man. Kate Molly. <laughs> Lorenzo Brown and Malachi yeah, Richardson. Exactly. Yeah. The, G, the G League guys. Yes, G League MVP. Okay, <laughs> so. Before that, like, one yeah. thing I want to point out, one thing that's been underrated was the fact that uh, the addition of Danny Green and Kawhi allows Lowry to play his best game. I think. Oh, I agree. With, with, oh, I agree. with the Rosen, I don't think he was fully utilized to his best. That's why he didn't have a good season last mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. But this year, he's playing, I think, at his best season, at his prime, because of what uh, what Kawhi and what uh, Danny Green has allowed him to have, which is space. Space. Yeah. Space, and he doesn't get as much help defense coming onto him because they can't leave Danny Green alone and sure. they can't leave Kawhi alone. And he can have two defenders that can help him out on switches. And that's been, uh, that's I think the most underrated yeah. thing that's allowed Lowry to have a good season. This La Lowry so right far. now is leading the league in assists. Yeah. yeah. I what, 10, like 10 no or one's assists. No one's talking about how good that's, he's been because you've been, yeah. all of us have been watching Raptors for yeah. years. It's hard to imagine what this guy's yeah. a willing passer all of a yeah. sudden, you know. Doesn't, yeah. Thank God for what, you know, Kawhi and Danny Green has done. And Nick Nurse. No, yeah. Nick Nurse Nick has Nurse, done this. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Hey, man, the Raptors <laughs> go for it all, man. Eastern Conference <laughs> champions and maybe. Maybe try to be Golden State. Warriors. Let's hope Kawhi stays. Let's hope. Oh yeah, and Kawhi stays. Mas, Drake, do your do what you need to do. Drake, <laughs> hire his family to work for you. For you. I don't know what. No, I don't need to. Do. <laughs> Anyways, that's the all for our show. We had a lot of great talk about the Raptors, Golden State Warriors, and even Jimmy Butler's situation. Uh, before we end off the show, any shout outs? I know Mark and Mark give us the lowdown. Yeah, shout out to all our fans. Keep following us at Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, wherever you can find us, Pinot Crossover. Keep commenting, keep sharing. I know you guys enjoy our content, and we enjoy having you guys in our show, liking our stuff, and commenting. So keep doing that. And you guys got any shout-outs? Uh, shout-out for you guys. We're always uh, for the invite. Love yeah. talking hoops with you guys. And shout-out to Alley Cat sitting there getting all the behind-the-scenes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Just say hey, shout-out to uh, King Mali 23 for, you know, <laughs> putting me on his IG story. Shout out to you guys for inviting me. Uh, yeah, it's dope. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in for this week's episode of Pinar Costa. As always, stay ballin'.